off to that fence till there again. Hopefully a bit better this time. I have a new friend joining me as well. ourselves this morning so far we're set up in these two places I'm sitting my new friend up down here today which is my usual spot that I like out here where the bigger ones have been but I'm going to try a bit further down just down at that bush down there as I was saying I'm going to set myself up just here the fish just splash way up to the far side I've got my friend set up just in my usual corner here which was a struggle um. Right, it's time to get some base out there. We'll take the spotting rod and get set up. See if we can attract some fish. There's nothing taken without so far. far out I don't think. But if I start putting bait out about 40 50 yards somewhere about there should do it. Yep, they're still there. Let's see. Yes we've got a fish on there. Not a very big one but fish. So it's a good start. It's possible here. Yes, here we go then. Using light tackle on this, on this setup. Gotcha. There we go then. Take him up to the sack. So not really big enough to weigh yet. But it's nice to have a nice wee fish to start the day off. There we are, only a couple of pounds. But let's hope that others come along, shall we? Well, another little common. Small one, but see the morning starting at least. There we are. Go on, then off you go. Well, that's one small carp out, and I'm just waiting for my guest to turn up. Hopefully, these rods will do something for him. This one, the outside one. Oh, lost it. What have we got this time? Yes, quite a nice little fish again. I think my well is on. Yes, I've got a slightly better one on this time, I think. It's hard to tell at this stage, always. this end myself and he's had a couple of bites at that end because I put the rod tight ready for him. Um, you hope he comes soon.
got yours there. Right, let's get yours into the net then. That's it, he's in, okay. Hang on a minute, don't go away. I want this fish, just hold the net a moment, yeah. would you? I might as well get them both already. Right? Because that, that fish of mine's a nice one, it's about eight pounds. So after that, one of three, third one took. I'm just about to get him in. He's quite a nice fish too. All on the light tackle. Yeah, here he comes. We keep an eye on your rod tips over there too because if they come. I hope. Yeah. Yeah, a nice. Leather. Okay, look at the camera. There we are. We've both got one. Three fish in a row, and my friend came to rescue me. Yeah, that's nice smiles. <laughs> yeah. You could enjoy this, couldn't you? <laughs> right, Good. it's time to get these three fish back into the water as quick as we can. That's what happens in using a few yeah, rods or three fish on them to go like that, but it certainly doesn't matter, does it? There we go, let's get them all back in again. And off they all go. None the worse. Yep, still there. Yeah, he's on. Yeah, good. This is how it should be here, so even if this is my last time, it's a bloody good day. We have a chance of a decent fish yet. Let's go get him. No, he's not quite done, but just about. Another nice little leather, about four pound, four and a half pound. Just one back out and let him go. This one feels like a bit better fish. Certainly like the combination of corn and pea. coming straight. It's going a good, I think it's the biggest of the day so far, whatever. I can see him boiling now. Much better fish, yes. But not huge. There we go. And this light tackle. Yes, about five this time. this time. And away you go as well. That's it. Off he goes. Well, this time I think I've 
a fish on. This feels like a much better fish. It's got tangled up in the other float, but much better fish altogether. I'd send me a bigger one out. I don't think he's that big, but he feels it. I don't think this is how I looked at him. Gotcha. That's a lovely fish, yes, it's about 15, I reckon. We'll give it a measure of weight and we'll see. Lovely fish. Big chunky one. So we'll take him back in. Back on 15. There we go. Lovely fish, isn't he? Just slide him in sideways like that. There we go. Off he goes. The fish have gone off for feed for the moment after that big one. I'm not surprised. It's turned it up a bit. So we're going to have lunch, and what better than a nice tin of cold pint of tomato soup and some lovely French bread to go with that. Jason's got a good one now at last, we're in. Go back a bit and get the action shot. Looks like quite a good one, that one. Yeah, keep him to the left as much as you can because you want him away from this rod. So that's right, so keep your rod over to the left and keep him to the left, unless he comes right over this side, in which case we'll... No rush, just pull him over the net gently. It's a nice little fish. Your first today, we'll have a few yet hopefully. Come along. They're such strong, well-conditioned fish here. That's got him. Well, there we are. Lovely. <coughs> That's it, and Jason's got his first fish here now. Great, oh, second one, but this one he caught all himself. My new friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pete. That's it, pump him up. That's the way. Jolly good. How big's this one then? About the same? Uh, feels about the same. Yeah, I think it will be. Looking at the rod, I say it's about four to five pound. Right. Yes, it's a nice mirror too. There we go. Number three, well, two and a half. It's about the same size. <laughs> about the same size, about five. Lovely looking. They're beautiful fish, these, aren't they? Yeah. Right. Now, let's get the net underneath it and flick it out. Sometimes they get stuck in the net. That's the easy way. That's the way to do it. Bite again here somewhere. Where is he? Is he on this rod? Is he still there? Yep, he's still there. Not a very big one. But it's a fish still. Whoop! Which one do you want? That one? Help, help yourself. You, you feel them more on these rods. Yeah, it's locked into one. The other one went. So we're both into fish here. Keep my new friend occupied on his first trip. I promised him some fish. That'll be his third and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I 
In you come, sweetheart. <laughs> and that will do you without the... Right, just as we did before. There we go again. Double on the rods here. He's come to give me a hand to get them out. Right, just getting back in again. Yeah, it's like he's got a decent one this time. He's actually having to lean into it. He's going to go water skiing in a minute. Right, you know what they said in Jaws about needing a bigger boat, might need a bigger net. Well, here's the bigger one, this one. Yep. Oh yes, that's a nice looking fish, that's sw totally swell. Don't go and lose this one. <laughs> this is what you've been after, this is what you came for. I hope, I hope not. Oh, oh, you came for this one. Oh, he's a lovely fish, yeah. That's it, keep the rod up. He's, he's got to be a 10 pounder, I reckon, if not more. Yeah, I reckon he's a good fish, where he's swirled. Yeah, keep at him. That's the way, not to sit, just, just nice and gently, that's it. Bring him round this way, press it. Oh yes, that's a, that's a good fish by the swirling. Bring him in then. Lovely. Oh, he's a good one. Yes, yeah, what you're after. It's the one you wanted. Oh, he's bigger. He's, he's a, yeah, he could be 18 or so, or 15. Bit more. Not quite to me yet. This way a bit. Got him. Yeah, we did need a bigger net. But this will do. Yes, you've got, I reckon, nearer 18. Well, he's got the fish he came for, and this fish I've got to be about 20. We'll give it away now and just see what it is. Right, lift it up then. Yeah. What have we got? It's got to be 16, 17, 18. 18. That's the biggest one yet. That's the, the, biggest, that's the biggest one I've ever caught. Yeah, there you go. Big fella back in. There's a beautiful fish. Look at the size of that. 18 pounds of fur. Yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah, I just lost a fish about that size myself out here in the weed. But I'm glad he's got his biggie, that's his biggest ever, and it's his first day here. So I know that's made it for him, and I'm really pleased for that. I was going to send it to his uh, friend in England who's fishing at the moment, and he's only had fish about two or three pounds to really wind him up. Wonderful. Yeah, having a day now, certainly getting some fish coming. We've got a chance of a big fish yet before the day finishes. And again, it's the combination of chickpea and sweet corn. Oh. He's not huge, but he's pretty. He's only about five or six, but they do give a good fight here, especially on this light tackle. There we go. So it's only about five pound, we're getting back in again. Real quickly, I wouldn't even bother photographing this one. Oof. There we go, and he's off. Oh well, just got back down and setting up again for my friend and another small one takes on light rods. I'd like to get a bigger fish though today if I can. 15 is the most I've got, beaten by 18. But still, I'm happy boy, I've got plenty of fish today. It's only a small fish this one. A silvery common. 
There we go. I'm not taking much more than that, we'll just unhook him here quickly and get him out again. It's only a small fish, so he won't need photographing rather than what we've got. In and out, with least fuss. There we go. Bait I'm using is two pieces of sweet corn, first of all. Like this. Two pieces of sweet corn. Then a little pea. And then another piece of sweet corn at the end. And they're loving it. Uh, just like that. <whistles> and that's set up, ready to go. That one's all right, yes. All right, now we're getting there. Not a big fish, but there's another one. There we go, he's in. And the little mirror. even had a chance to put the fish back hardly and we put another one on here. finished but here we go back in back out as quick as we can to join me and he had a bite so I said go cake it Pete and he's just got it so It's got a lovely little five I, I don't know, it must be near six pound that one. Mighty cheese. Okay, well done Peter. Peter's just come to visit me, that's nice. Another pal. That boil isn't big enough to be a big fish. No. But it's uh, certainly going. Come along. Yeah, it's not that fun. The dicks give such a good account of themselves on these light rods. That's it. Well, Peter Rod is, and I just got back, and as he was finishing his off, this beautiful little, very pale, silvery carp comes out. What a lovely condition yep. they are. See, the law of averages is there's got to be a big one there somewhere. These these chickpeas certainly are, are worth. Well, they're 
they're pellet-sized bait, aren't they? Already, you know. Well, I use them in England this autumn, and I was catching beautiful. I was catching big tench, bream, everything on them. One particular pond that was fantastic. Yeah. Let's pick him up quick. He's still going too. That must be a bigger fish, surely. But the run was of a bigger fish. I'll take a bigger net this time, just in case. I don't know how close he is yet. He's not that far away. Not huge, but decent, certainly. Could be in the 10 range. He hasn't finished yet. Yes, I reckon he's about 10. Got him. There we are. Let's see what we've got now. Right, how big is he? He's a good weighty fish, he's got to be a good 10, maybe 12 more. Maybe a small one again, that. Didn't take long over it. Let's get him into the net. That's what we've got. Yep, only a small one, but plenty of fight in another beautifully mirrored carp. Look at that beauty of that one. Absolutely lovely scales. And out you go, both of you. And we're getting towards the end of the evening. Here we are, another one. <laughs> come on in, you come. See, the weather's gone very dull. the photographing this one let's get him straight back in again and hook out and back in and oh, not too bad smack on 12 pounds that what I thought one beautiful 12 pounder, another nice little mirror. And out you go, both of you. Where you go, come on. That's it. And away that one goes beautifully. Well, I get towards the end of the evening, it's got a bit breezy, and we've not got many fish, but put some more spots out, and there we are, I just caught one. That worked then. Oh, it's a nice one, yep. Yeah. Alright. Nice fish. That's great. Okay. So we had one last fish, and so is um, Jason. And uh, it's not been a bad day at all, even though we haven't had huge ones. We've had a couple of nice fish between us. So a little bit longer, and we'll pack up. Another. 
nice little car, nothing special. this time so again we won't bother photographing him weighing him up we'll just get the look out quick and get him back it's no good going back into the net there you are look As soon as I put the rod down, we're back into another small one. Very pretty fish. Again, not big enough to be worth photographing separately, but still worth a shot of it. I'll take it back out again. Back in she goes. Well, now we're coming to the end. I thought I got the last one just now, but not quite, so a wee bit longer. comes and goes but it's very dark behind there so I say I think we're in for a storm tonight. Okay.